welcome to the sixth lecture of module 4. The module 4 is on absorption. In our previous lecture, we have discussed the different correlations, correlations for mass transfer coefficients. Science in packed hours. And another topic we have discussed is the height equivalent. So, that is we call HTP concept. So, HTP is basically the ratio of height of packing in a packed hour with the number of ideal plates required to do a given job. HTP is equal to Z by N T. So, in this lecture, we will discuss the tray tower design absorption in tray towers. We will discuss the Macap Thiele method of diagram where we can calculate graphically the number of ideal trays required to do a given job. So, this Macap Thiele method of operations is applicable only when the operating line for an absorber is straight. This is a plate columns for an absorber where we have used n p number of trays and the inlet of gas and liquid is shown over here. It is counter current flow and the gas which is coming out at the top of the tower and the liquid which is coming out at the bottom of the tower is given. So, the trays are numbered from the top to bottom and for the Macap Thiele diagram we require that the operating line should be straight and this require two important assumptions. One is the energy balance should be should be automatically satisfied. And second assumptions is that the liquid flow rate flow rate by vapor flow rate that means, L by G should be constant. In order to satisfy the first assumptions that is the energy balance should be automatically valid, it requires that the heat of absorption is negligible, heat of absorption is negligible and the operation is isothermal. Isothermal operation. And this is usually valid when the gas and liquid streams are both fairly dilute solutions in that case this assumptions are valid. If we define the flow rate for liquid is L and for gas is G in terms of mole per 
hour this will be convenient rather than per unit cross sectional area hour meter square. We also desire that the operating line should be straight and this will be true only when if we define L by G is equal to moles of non volatile solvent that is per hour divided by moles of insoluble carrier gas per hour. So, we have to assume solvent is non volatile solvent is non volatile and second carrier gas is insoluble carrier gas is insoluble. So, based on these two assumptions we can write L n p liquid outlet L n p from nth plate would be equal to L j j at any plate liquid flow rate will be equal to L 0 which will be equal to L and equal to constant. Similarly, if we do the mass balance for carrier gas then g n p plus 1 would be G j would be G 1 would be G is equal to constant. Now, we will derive the general equations for this general flow diagram inlet liquid is L 0 inlet gas is G n p plus 1 the outlet liquid is equal to L n p and outlet gas is G 1. So, making an overall material balance overall material balance over all stages we can write L 0 plus G n p plus 1 is equal to L n p plus G 1 and overall component balance component balance would be L 0 x naught plus G n p plus 1 y n p plus 1 is equal to L n p x n p plus g 1 y 1 capital x and capital y are the mole ratios. Now, if we do the total material balance over first n stages total material balance total 
balance over first n stages, we can write L naught plus G n plus 1 is equal to L n plus G 1. And if we do a component balance, component balance over the first n stages, it will give L naught x naught plus g n plus 1 capital Y n plus 1 is equal to g 1 y 1 plus l n x n. Now, if we solve for y n plus 1 y n plus 1 this would be l n x n divided by g n plus 1 plus g 1 y 1 minus l naught x naught divided by g n plus 1. This is the very important material balance equations for an tray absorber and this is known as the equation of operating line, equation of operating line. Now, if we apply the earlier assumptions, the assumption is that constant molar overflow rate that is all L will be constant and G will be constant. So, if we apply that then we can write y n plus 1 would be equal to L by G x n plus y 1 minus L by G x naught. So, this is the equation of a straight line equation of straight line with a slope of L by G and uh, intercept of y 1 minus L by G x naught. And if we plot y versus x, it will generate the Macap Thiele type of diagram. This is the diagram. So, we have the equations y n plus 1 is equal to L by G into x n plus y 1 minus L by G x naught and slope is L by G or L s by G s. L by G and intercept is y 1 minus L by G x naught. This is the equations of operating line and this is the equilibrium line. To solve Macap Thiele diagram for a particular system, we should have the equilibrium data of the solutes in the gas and liquid phases. The general procedure to follow for the Macap Thiele diagram, general procedure. First, we have to plot equilibrium line Y versus capital X. And here we have to convert 
mole fraction to mole ratio fraction to ratio second we know the value of x not y n p plus 1 y 1 and l by g these are known so first this equilibrium line is drawn and then we know this data then from point x not y 1 we can get the point over here locate this L by G is the slope. So, plot operating line so this is the operating line and then from stage 1 stage 1 draw a line. So, then equilibrium then operating and then equilibrium. So, this will give a stage number of stages required. Between operating and equilibrium line. So, now let us take an example how to solve using the Macap Thiller diagram. Here ammonia is to be absorbed from air mixture counter currently in a plate column similar to the earlier examples we have discussed in case of packed column. Ammonia concentration is to be reduced from 10 mole percent to 1 mole percent and the inlet water and gas rate are respectively 500 and 400 kg per meter square second. Calculate the number of actual plates required for the absorber. Equilibrium data for the system at 20 degree centigrade and 1 atmosphere pressure which is given and molar masses of air, ammonia and water are 29, 17 and 18 kg per mole and then plate efficiency is given as 70 percent for all plates in plate columns. So, we have to calculate the number of actual plates required for the absorbers. So, initially we have to calculate the number of ideal plates required. So, we assume that solubility of air in water is negligible. Compared to ammonia. So, the molecular weight of inlet gas we can calculate which is 90 percent year 0 0.9 into 29 plus 10 percent ammonia into 17. So, which is about 27.8 kg per k mole. Now, the gas flow rate G 1 would be 400 divided by the average molecular weight of the gas is 27.8 is equal to 
nine k mole per meter square second. Now, out of this fourteen point three nine, ninety percent is air. So the air at the inlet is equal to fourteen point three nine into 0.9 is equal to 12.95 k mole per meter square second. Ammonia in the feet at the inlet is equal to 14.39 into 0.1 which is 1.5 Four three nine k mole per meter square second ammonia inlet rate. So then we can calculate G two, which is air is twelve point nine five plus one point four three nine into point one. So this is equal to thirteen point zero nine. K mole per meter square second. So the inlet liquid is pure water. Inlet liquid is pure water. So L two would be five hundred. By eighteen, which is twenty seven point seven eight k mole per meter square second. Therefore, L one would be L two plus G one minus G two. So, which is equal to twenty seven point seven eight. Plus 14.39 minus 13.09, so which is equal to 29 k mole per meter square second. So if we compare the liquid flow rate at the top and bottom of the tower, we can calculate L2 by G2, which would be 27.78 divided by 13.09 which is equal to 2.12 and l1 by g1 would be 29 divided by 14.39 would be equal to 2.02 and the average Would be 2.12 plus 2.02 divided by 2, which is around 2.07. With this ratio, we can approximate that the average L by G would be 2.07, and we know that Y1 is 0.1, which is 10 percent ammonia. And Y two is equal to point zero one, which is one percent ammonia. And the liquid solvent is solute free. Liquid water is solute free. Therefore, x two would be zero. So now, if we convert this to mole ratio, we'll have capital Y one would be small Y one by one minus Y one, which is equal to point one divided by one minus point one, which is point one two, and y two. Would be 
y 2 divided by 1 minus y 2 would be 0 0.01 divided by 1 minus 0 0.01 which would be 0 0.0101 and capital X 2 would be 0 since x 2 is 0. If we do the overall material balance, we can write or uh, the equation of operating line L by G into capital X 1 minus X 2 would be Y 1 minus Y 2. So, from this we know this is 2.07 into x 1 minus 0 is equal to 0 0.12 minus 0 0.01 not 1. So, from this x 1 would be 0 0.053. Now, if we plot the graph between the operating line and equilibrium line, this is based on the equilibrium data which is given, this is equilibrium line and this is operating line. And if we draw a line between equilibrium and operating line, there will be ideal number of stage, ideal number of stages would be approximately equal to 3.5 and the plate efficiency is given. which is equal to 70 percent. So, total number of actual plates would be 3.5 divided by 0 0.7 which is 5, 5 numbers of stages are required. Now, we will discuss the absorption in tray columns where not single components, but multi components are involved. So, multi component absorption and stripping when we see that there are more than one soluble components in gas or more than one volatile component in the liquid phase. Then this is multi component systems and in this case for design the outlet liquid temperature as well as compositions must be known. Outlet gas temperature should be estimated and complete outlet gas compositions with respect to all components be estimated at the beginning. Now, the quantities which are generally fixed for any absorber design is the first is the rate of flow compositions and temperature of the entering gas. Then composition and temperature of entering liquid not the liquid flow rate. Then what pressure the column operates and third any heat loss or heat gain. So, the principal variables which are still remain are the liquid flow rate or the gas liquid ratio, the number of ideal trays and the fractional absorption of any one component. So, if we fix any of these two, then the third will be automatically fixed. Now, to do the design the outlet gas compositions, outlet gas compositions and 
temperature must be guessed. And this should be checked, should be checked at the end of the calculation. So, this is not very simple procedure. So, until unless we have some preliminary data or the basic guidelines to guess the compositions and the temperature, this is very difficult and very complicated procedure for doing the trial and error method. So, to get a basic idea and some approximate procedure are already discussed like for constant absorption factor, one is the Kremser equation. Kremser equations. This is for the constant absorption factor, and second one is the Horton and Franklin method. Horton and Franklin method, this is for variable absorption factor. Now, for multi component absorber, there are many components which can transfer between gas and liquids. So, it is very difficult to get the inside gas and liquid flow rates based on the compositions inside the tower and in each tray. So, it is better to define them based on the inlet and outlet terms. So, for any component any component in liquid leaving any tray n. We can write x n dash would be moles of component in tray n divided by moles of liquid entering. So, which is equal to x n l n divided by l 0 and similarly for gas we can write y n dash y n g n by g n p plus 1, where x n and y n are the usual usual mole fraction. Now, for the tray absorber, if we do the material balance for any tray in material balance for any component for tray n. So, this is the material balance equation, then equilibrium relation which is y n is equal to m n x n and if we substitute the equilibrium relation the earlier equations, then we will get y n g n p plus 1 by y n is equal to m n x n dash l naught by l n. Similarly, for tray n minus 1, we can write this is the equation and then 
we can obtain x n dash is this and x n dash minus 1 is this. Now, after substitute x n and x n minus 1 dash we can get y n would be y dash n plus 1 plus a n minus 1 y n minus 1 dash by 1 plus a n, where a n is the absorption factor and a n minus 1 is the for tray n and this is for tray n minus 1. So, if we consider n is equal to 1, then we can obtain y 1 is equal to y 2 dash plus a naught y naught dash by 1 plus a 1 for n is equal to 1 that is single tray. Similarly, we can obtain y naught is equal to this and a naught y naught would be this. So, from this if we substitute this two over here a naught y naught then we can obtain y 1 dash is equal to y 2 dash l naught x naught dash y g n p plus 1 by 1 plus a 1. If we take n is equal to 2 that is 2 tray then y 2 is like this if we substitute the earlier equations. So, this will be y 2 would be this and similarly for n is equal to 3 we can obtain y 3 dash is this. For n is equal to n p, n p number of trace. So, y n p similarly we can obtain is this and in order to eliminate y n p dash we can do the component material balance component material balance inside the observer so we can get l naught is equal into x n p dash minus x naught would be equal to g n p plus 1 y n p plus 1 dash minus y 1 dash now if n is equal to n p then we can obtain y n p dash is this. Now, if we eliminate from these two relation, if we eliminate x n p dash and then if we substitute the earlier equations y n p dash equations then we can obtain the equation for absorber. So, this is the absorber equations and this is called expression for fractional absorption fractional absorption of any component. Similarly, for stripper also this is the fractional desorption or stripping for any component. Now, this different L by G ratio and 
tray temperature. These are necessary to calculate H and S. If the liquid is non ideal, liquid non ideal, then uh, it requires the liquid compositions on the tree. Composition on the tray, tray is required. Similarly, for gas phase, if the gas phase is non ideal, the similar thing is valid. So, therefore, the equations we derived for variable absorption factor and stiffing factor is valid or applicable or we can say useful for ideal solutions. So, there is a simplifications of this method instead of getting variable absorption factor, there is an average or effective absorption factor which is derived by admister admister they modify it modify it the Horton Franklin equations with average or effective absorption factor. So, for absorber the earlier equations will be y n p plus 1 dash minus y 1 dash by y n p plus 1 would be equal to 1 minus L naught x naught dash divided by n a dash g n p plus 1 y n p dash plus 1 into a e n p plus 1 minus a e divided by a e n p plus 1 minus 1, where a dash is the a n p a 1 plus 1 divided by a n p plus 1 and a e the average absorption factor which is equal to a n p into 1 plus 1 plus 0.25 to the power 0.5 minus 0.5. The similar equations was derived for the stripping sections. So, these uh, equations can be used easily with the average absorption or stripping factor. Thank you.